Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of saving for college. This is standard 8.12G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 37 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have the total cost of attending State University here. It's going to be $19,700 for one year. So the grandparents are going to pay half the cost. We have an athletic scholarship for $5,000. And then we need to save money uh, for the remaining cost. And we're going to do it over 12 months. All right, so that's quite a bit there so let's let's figure out what our three big chunks are okay so we get the 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 G parents they're gonna pay for half uh, scholarship which good for this person scholarships are great you don't have to pay them back uh, that's five thousand and then we get uh, 12 months savings. And that's what we're really looking for. 12 months is that leftover. And all of this together should equal this 19,700. All right, so now that we know what we're looking at, well, the 5,000 is the 5,000. That's pretty, pretty standard. But I guess we need to figure out first how much the grandparents are paying. Parent, grandparents are paying for half. So let's just take our 19,700. Let's just cut that in half. So that's going to be 9, 17. That's going to be 8. That's 10. It's going to be 5. There we go. No remainder, but we do need that one extra zero. So 19,700 19, is almost. 20,000, which means the answer is going to be almost 10,000, or 9,000, let's just put 9,850. All right, so now we've got two numbers here, so what we could do is let's add, let's add our 9,850, let's add that scholarship for 5,000, let's see how much actual money is being paid so far, or being saved, I guess. So that's 14 thousand eight hundred and fifty that's what these two equal fourteen eight fifty so in order to save for the rest over 12 months we need to figure out how much the rest is so now we're going to take the total cost nineteen seven hundred and subtract from that fourteen eight fifty Quite a bit of borrowing. You can use your calculator if you really want to, but we know how to do this by hand. It's going to be 5, 16, it's going to be 8. All right, so that's going to be 4,850. So that's what we need to save over 12 months. Now, obviously, there's no answer for that, thankfully, because that would be too easy for us to, to get. But that's not even the answer because we need to do over 12 months. We need to save every month. Okay, so now we're going to take our 12 and divide that into our 4850. Well, that's going to be 4 really easily. So that's going to be 48. 12 does not go into 5. But it does go into 50 four times and we have a little bit of a remainder here so 20 is going to be 1 and that's 12 80 it's not going to go in evenly uh, but we can go uh, seven times it's going to get you 84 so that's a little bit bigger than that 80 right if we wanted to go out it would be six and then we'd have to round up but our answer here is A.